Hello everybody, I am Mold at Worst, and this is Underhero once again. We gotta go recruit the bosses to stand against Mr. Stitches. Because we're finally gonna fix things. Huh, so that's where the secret elevator brings me. 6G. That's a bit of an odd place here. We're back here? Who would have thought? Alright kid, we need to find the Moth Queen and the Baron. Pick one and let's go! I'd say we go for the Moth Queen first. She'd be a lot easier to convince once we tell her that once what Stitches done did to her husband. Now, did I happen to pick up another apartment key I didn't use? 5B. Yeah. That one ain't used. It would tell me if it was used. I remember that much. We's going to 5B. Which is right here. Now, what treasures await? Ah, two treasures and a toilet. Cassette tape. And another cassette tape. I was hoping for an upgrade to my stuff and things. But I guess... Cassette tapes are all right. So... Well, guess we'll just move on along then and track down to Moth Queen. But of course, gotta save first. And maybe there's another upgrade or two available in the evil store. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing any upgrades available. But I can upgrade my shield, that's the only upgrade, or upgrade my potion capacity. But... Uh... Hmm... I think I'll do the potions, I bit my tongue there, and the shield. There we go. Potions and shield. I can carry another potion. That will help me out a lot. Oh yeah, now that's a real durable shield. Anyway, this takes us to the Moth Forest. So let's go! I'm sure that's where I'll find the Queen. She does live in the Moth Forest after all. Cave. Did the portal always spit me out here in a cave? I don't remember initially being spat out in a cave. Okay, yeah, it must have spat me out in a cave before because there's that treasure chest I opened a long time ago. Come to think of it, I don't think I saw what was going on left of the portal. There could be something hidden over here. Not one more step. There's a town up ahead. Your kind is not welcomed in there. Okay. That's what's to the left over there. Anyway, let's go see the queen. Tell her the fate of her husband, how he's still alive, and now has a split personality. I'm not sure how she will take that news, or if she'll just assault us outright. But we will see when we get there, assuming this is even the right thing to do. It could be the entirely wrong thing to do. I might have to go somewhere else, and I'm just not knowing that because I'm a fucking idiot and nobody happened to tell me anything. I'm just assuming that I go back to where I fought the bosses to begin with, and that's where they will be. Hey, I think we can use the elevator now. Let's have a chat with that hairy menace. So, what was that pounding sound I just heard when I came in here? Either way, it's good to see this place ain't flooded with beer anymore. But the elevator does work and there is that. Am I gonna have to go through more dungeon? Or is it just a straight shot to the queen? So far, it's been a pretty straight shot, and there's been nothing to fight along the way. Nice and easy, nice and simple. But the queen might not be happy to see me. Hey, she looks surprisingly unangry. 
Hello there, your highness. You two, I specifically told you not to come back to my domain. Yeah, yeah, we know, but we have a good reason. What reason could you possibly... We found King Timothy. What? Yep. You never stopped talking and now you decide to play coy? Tell me where he is now! Whoa, not so fast, your highness. Before we do that, we'll need something from you. We want to defeat Stitches, and I mean truly defeat Stitches. So you've finally figured it out, and I assume you want my help. We'll bring Timothy back here safe and sound, and in exchange, you will help us bring Stitches down. Oh, darling, if it wasn't for my missing husband, I would have done that myself years ago. Very well. I will be waiting here. After you bring him back, we will talk. Alright, kid. The last time we saw Tim and Tim Bolt, they were inside the factory. I think we should look there first. I hope they didn't wander off again. They probably did, considering how weird they are. And now I have to run all the way back to the portal now, don't I? Coming through. Oh, there he is. Well, that solves that. Oh, thank goodness. I feared we would have to look for them all over the kingdom. That would have been an incredible waste of time. Yes, it would. And for once, video games simplify things. Now, let's see here. Yep. I'm so glad you're all right, Sob. We would never have found you if we hadn't followed that kid around. Yes, my dear, thanks to them, we found our way here. They even saved us from a few pickles. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, don't mention it. Just remember our deal. Yes, I will help you, Sniff. Stitches will know the meaning of pain. Shouldn't we tell her about that split personality thing? I don't think she cares, honestly. I think this is for the best. Well, there, that was surprisingly uncomplicated. And, oh hey, it's throwing me right back to the castle. How convenient. Thank you for uncomplicating things for me, game. And now, Baron Von Gregory. He wanted to know if I found out anything about his past. Well, we do have something to tell him after what we went through with Dr. T. Burr. Another blizzard? This is not an ordinary blizzard. This has something to do with the Baron. Great. At least we know he's home. Uh, yep, so let's get in there before we start taking damage from the cold. I uh, still can't glide with my hoodie because of the snow. Ow. The cold. It hurt is me. Hurdy, hurdy, cold, cold. Anyway. Baron, oh, Baron. I come to see thee. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick in case he decides that he wants to attack the shit out of me and I end up blowing it. Now, let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's you guys. What's going on here? Master Greg is very upset about his last battle for some reason. He's decided to close the manor. I think he doesn't want to be bothered with heroes anymore. We really need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? He's locked himself inside the tower. He even ordered some of us to not let anyone go upstairs. At least we know where he is. Please, you have to knock some sense into him. We can't party like this. Yeah. So... I'll wait for you to go up, and I'll just hop over you, and I'll go in here. Now... Uh... Okay, yeah, that's the tutorial on putting Bella away and taking her out. And it's too damn dark in here. 
I need to find... Uh-oh. Yep. That happened. I just dropped on top of a ghost as I came through the door. Probably wasn't supposed to go that way anyway, but I done did because I am a idiot. Baron Von Gregory tends to make things more complicated than the fucking Moth Queen did. Ah, wrong way. Why you make me go left instead of right? You breaking all the rules of side scrolly video games. And can't seem to find a blue flame anywhere. I need me a blue flame so I can do the thing to fight the ghosts. But there's no blue flames. Or maybe I don't even need a blue flame. Maybe I go through that tower door the way that I went through that lower floor door. That might be the solution, ha. Yeah. I might be making a big old stupid out of myself because I'm thinking things of the wrong way. And you... There we go. All right, so... What is in here? The toilet. I found a toilet. I love finding toilets. Now, I just gotta move carefully. Dining room, which I have no reason to be inside of. And since there's no blue flames, I can't go fighting these damn ghosty goos. Now, here we go. All right. And out the window. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. Yep. That seems about right. Panicking and forgetting that I can't glide out here. And now you're all gonna make this a little more difficult than it needs to be. Because you're all a bunch of ghosty little bitches who want to go throwing me around and not letting me through because that is after all your job to get in my way but I can slink on past you because I'm a slinky little boy so I am here and I want to go to the right because that's where the tower is and yes through here and, yep, just don't get grabbed by no ghosts. Cause a ghosty grab gonna throw me back a ways. Hopefully they don't go throwing me straight outside the manor. Ooh, coins that I can't grab effectively because I forgot, I, again, that I can't fucking glide in this weather. Stupid snow and ice weighing down my hood. Stopping me from hovering about. Now, let's get all up in that tower and slap Gregory around. And, alright. Now, here we goes. Watch the ghosty goos. And don't let them touch ya. Because they got some nasty touchies going on. And I don't want them wiping they ghost boogies all over my clothes. I just washed this hoodie. And now... Here we go. Since it's not snowing inside, I can glide as nature intended. And here we go. Dodging and weaving around all the ghosts. Ghosts ain't got shit on me. And I think we're in the clear. I ain't. Oh, there's a ghost. I spoke too soon. Thought we was done with him. But another ghost shows up at the last second. And here. 
we fucking go. Now, which way are you gonna go, mister? You're gonna just drift up and over. Nice and slow-like. Unless you just suddenly decide you want to come back this direction. In which case, I might be in a little bit of trouble. But you didn't, and for that, I thank you. There he is. All barony and Gregory -ry -ry E. And I'm probably gonna have to redo the second boss fight against you, aren't I? Well, bring it on, Greggy boy. I fell down to the lower floor again. Okay, now bring it on. Master Greg, please stop this madness. You came back. If you wish to fight again, you are out of luck. I no longer want to fight. We don't want to fight you. We need your help. My help? I finally learned the truth. The truth behind our missing memories. I have also learned something about myself. The reason my soul can't rest is because it's incomplete. Handy, are you he part of him? I think that's where this is going. C could it be? Of course, it was so obvious. Sir, we found your missing piece. What? You... You are a part of me. Come back to me, then. Let us leave this mortal coil and be free. I'm afraid we can't do that, sir. Not yet. What do you mean? It's a long story, but here it goes. Well, let us regale him with one long story later. So, you and I... Yes, we used to be allies. Stitches did this to me, and all this time I have worked under his command like a lapdog. Together we can bring him down. You have my word. I will help you fight him. He will pay. I'm sorry, sir. We have to do this. We have to do this, too. Handy and I will come back after this is over. Do what you must. I'll be waiting. Say, how could you control your left gauntlet if you didn't have Handy? Hello? Sorry to interrupt. I'm under Master Gregory's instructions to possess his left gauntlet. I believe he forgot he gave me that order four centuries ago. That I did. Huh. You will be relieved of your duties very soon. Your service is appreciated. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Being a hand is terribly uncomfortable. I've been waiting a long time to stretch a bit. Well, all right. We've got Gregory on our side. That's both of the bosses, and the princess said she'd go and try and talk some sense into El Salsarissimo. So... Do I just head on back to... Uh, the fucking... Laboratory? It seems everyone has left the castle. It must be because of this siege. T. Burr said he would try to convince the minions to help us defeat Stitches. I think he should do... I think we should do part of the job, too. And that means we should make our way to the Hero's Road, kid. There should be a way to reach it from the main hall. Yeah, it might be that one door to the right of the throne room. That's my guess, anyway. Come to think of it, didn't I... Didn't the game start at the Hero's Road? Brr. Frank Sr. So, my daughter Frankie is alright? She's been working with Lord T. Burr. Oh, thank you so much for telling me. Please accept this as thanks. Hey, you gave me a health upgrade. That's nice. Well... 
he finally knows that his daughter ain't dead. And we've got a hero's road to get to, which we will do in the next episode. Because I'm all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. And we'll see you again in the next one. Bye.